This section of the textbook is called Alternate Forms of the Pythagorean Identity. And the alternate forms of the Pythagorean identity um, come from doing a division on the Pythagorean identity. So the Pythagorean identity, as a reminder, says that the sine squared plus the cosine squared equals one. And the alternate forms come from saying, what happens if we take each side of this equality and divide it by either the sine squared or the cosine squared. We'll start with the sine squared. What happens? Well, if you have addition in the top, you can break the fraction up like so. And let's write that one is one squared. That's certainly a true statement. And now if we have a square divided by a square, we can write those as single squares. This is the cosine of x over the sine of x squared, this is 1 over the sine of x squared, the cosine over the sine is the cotangent, 1 over the sine is the cosecant, the sine squared over the sine squared is one. So one plus the cotangent squared of x equals the cosecant squared of x. And that came from dividing by the sine squared. If we'd divided by the cosine squared, I won't show all the details, but, you know, the fraction breaks apart, just like this fraction did up here. And the sine squared over the cosine squared is the tangent squared, just like this was the cotangent. And the cosine squared over the cosine squared is one. And just like this became the cosecant squared, one over the cosine squared, we will become the secant squared to give us one plus the tangent squared of x equals the secant squared of x. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. The book has this section titled Alternate Forms of the Pythagorean Identity. And then in example seven, the example in this section, it doesn't use any of the alternate forms. It uses the regular Pythagorean identity. 
I promise that these alternate forms do have applications, but I admit that we're not going to see them in a while. I mean, the main application I can think of is in Calculus 2. Um, I will further admit that I don't actually have these committed to memory when I need them. I simply re... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I simply do this work really rederive. I rederive them. But in any case, these are the alternate forms.